what I want in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray. Sister, it's not a prayer. Sister, it's not a prayer. Whether they are laid down in the hospital watching this from their hospital bed, I send the power of healing to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Get up, brother. So shall your life be in the name of Jesus. So shall you live and overcome life in the name of Jesus. Spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus. That the things and the things of God in your life shall manifest in the physical. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Go down and suffer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. destroy yours. Lift up your voice and speak to the Lord this morning. Let your glory fill. Let your power fill. Let your anointing fill. Let your power dwell. Let the effect of your presence be seen. In the name of Jesus. Standing on your feet this morning. It is the mercy of God. Not only are you standing physically, you are standing spiritually. Your stand in the spirit will keep you in the physical. Your empowerment in the spirit will operate in the physical. Amen. The anointing of God upon your life in the spirit will manifest in the physical. Amen. It shall not be hidden. Amen. Father, blessed be your name, O God. Speak to us, Lord, this morning. As your children, as believers, those that have been redeemed, washed by the blood sanctified and consecrated empower us Lord speak to us Lord touch us Lord let the impact be felt let your glory shine 
let the enemy the devil and his kingdom be put to shame blessed be your name oh god in jesus mighty name we pray you may be seated amen hallelujah hallelujah this morning the lord have a word for us there is a mandate that has been given to you and i we must not shy away from this mandate there's something i want you to understand you see this heaven that we're talking about the devil won't hand it to anybody easy maybe we have to speak it to one another talk to somebody sitting next to you and say listen to me brother listen to me sister this heaven this heaven the devil ain't giving it free what that means is that not because he is the one that owns it he will battle you to the gate to make sure you don't make it in but his blood has given you victory can you shout amen to that oh I said the blood of Jesus Christ has given you victory if you are hearing the sound of my voice this morning you will trample on his head till you get into heaven you will trample over all his elements the Lord has given the believers believers mandate today I want you to hear Delivers, believers mandate to heal the sick and cast out devils Amen. you must know how to cast him out Amen. not once are you with me not twice this devil that you want to put away you must know how to put him away believers was mandate to do what to heal the sick and cast out devils you must know that you coming to christ has been granted a power and authority to exercise it at this church don't shy away from it turn your bibles this morning the book of Luke hallelujah Luke chapter 4 I'm going to read from verse 31 and he came down to Campania a city of Galilee and taught them on the sabbath day and they were astonished at his doctrine for his word was what with power are you with me i repeat to you he taught what with what he taught them on the sabbath day and they were astonished at his teaching his doctrine for what his words was with what power verse 33 and in the sabbath sorry and in the synagogue there was a man which has what a spirit of an unclean devil in the sabbath in the synagogues in the church where he was what speaking a man with an unclean spirit was sitting down listening present hallelujah listening unclean devils spirit of an unclean devil and did what cry out with what with a loud voice as this jesus that we are receiving this morning 
as his word dwelleth in us with power unclean devils will cry out of your life unclean devils spirits that are not clean that are sent to carry out havoc shall be defeated before your face in the name of Jesus you must recognize on a conscious basis that you carry Jesus inside you Thirty-four. This spirit is saying, "Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? Hear this. I know thee." Who thou art, the Holy One of God. Brethren, unclean spirit, spirit, just as physical identify physical, spirit will identify the spirit you carry. Just as you dwell in the physical, there's a realm where your spirit dwelleth where everybody knows each other are you with me a realm and a territory of spirit where everybody knows what each other if you must operate in christ it has to be a lifestyle a fervent lifestyle of prayer it sets your spirit apart in the realm of spirits get that understanding a fervent what prayer life sets you apart in that realm why your prayer life is a life that is constantly engaged with the master the all powerful the almighty that Jesus Christ you are constantly with him feeding from his fire and the power the spirit knows where your spirit hang out are you with me this morning i want you to understand something the spirit knows who you've been with you don't tell somebody you don't have to know if the person is a drunkard or not watch how they walk come close to them you could smell it from their breath am i talking to somebody this morning if you are coming from the lord the spirit realm knows you are coming with a destructive behavior you are coming with a destructive body language you are coming with a destructive view that the physical eyes cannot see they looked at jesus the man said i know you brethren believers church the body of christ if you are with jesus the kingdom of darkness knows you not only do they know you they know who you are in the spirit they understand if they will respect you or not they understand if you are destructive or not they understand if you are someone they could hang out with or not but when they realize that your whole life is hanging out more on Jesus they stay far because they know when you speak something happens I pray for your understanding today again I go back to the team today believers mandate to do what to heal the sick and to cast out devils don't walk past them how many times do you see somebody robbing and a police officer will come by saying keep on robbing I'll be back huh are you with me just rob as much as you can don't worry what do you think officers does? Somebody help me. They stop it. They pull their weapon, right? Even before they pull their weapon, even the officer is not an officer and he's wearing just his brother's police uniform. Huh? The criminal will run. Are you with me? There's an identification that creates threat. He will leave the things he's trying to steal and he will run. Hear me this morning. 
the uniform he's carrying threatens why he didn't buy it from the store it was given by authority when you dwell in christ with a fervent prayer life the lord will constantly replace your power your uniform that carries power there's an increase and elevation that is never the same the devil that knows you last year cannot understand you this year because you are operating more more no time you come he said for as many that come to me i give them what power to become the sons of god power to become there is growth in sonship there's elevation in sonship that is the reason why the devil will do anything kind to occupy you outside your engagement of a prayer life he said i know who you are jesus of nazareth <laughs> we know you carry destructive power have you come to destroy us how many people were the bible say was in the, in the in the synagogue a man right with what an unclean spirit i believe you have your bible in front of you look at what he's saying have you come to destroy he didn't say me he said have you come to destroy because they don't operate in singular they operate in legions they operate in the form of a network they know when you destroy one you destroy a web when you destroy one you destroy you destroy a system when you block one road of a tunnel, many roads are blocked. You don't understand how you put up Brooklyn bridges. You know, have no idea what George Washington Bridge is until they tell you where that bridge is connected to. Are you with me? One force that you bring down, you have no idea how you destruct the enemy. For, for. the Bible says, the prince of this world to this day regret the execution of Jesus Christ on the cross if we had known we wouldn't have crucified the son of glory why to this day is a regret that I've handed over generational power to do what to destroy the enemy the devil it's a master plan of God that is given to you and I the greatest unused power the greatest unused power is the power that Christ has given to the church and yet unrecognized but this morning i am bringing it to you to wake up Amen. because there's power in you you don't know Amen. i said there's power in you you don't know the power has been mandated so when you when you come across sickness i don't care if you're a, a nurse or a doctor whatever profession you are somebody say you are they are sick in the name of jesus sickness you must have if you have no anger towards sickness you fail to recognize the power in you to tell that sickness leave. You are not the one authorizing the sickness. You are the one to speak to the sickness to leave. The one that authorizes will do his own business. Our concern is that we always think we are the one. What happens if it doesn't happen? This is the word of the Lord. He said, Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art. The Holy One of God verse 34 and jesus rebuked him Amen. jesus didn't say tell me more are you with me i enjoy what you are saying i'm not interested you don't have to introduce me jesus did what rebuke him saying hold thy peace and do what and come out of him i speak this morning you're going to pray any will any spirit any unclean devil operating around your life trying to manipulate your mind not to understand the power in you you are saying hold your peace today i command you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the one whom you fear the one whom you know the holy one of god no one that jesus said in my name in my name before my father anything you discuss to the father in my name it shall be done jesus said come out 
you are using that temple innocently you have taken over the voice of that man come out so the man can return back to the man you are talking through that man the man has lost his identity as a result of you using his body to discuss with me i authorize you now get out anywhere unclean spirit is operating right now distance is not a barrier i i applaud you to speak get out in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ he said come out of him and when the devil had what thrown him in the mist he came out of him who threw him the thing that was inside him don't you know the spirit inside you will toss you anywhere you are moved and operated by an engine if your car has no engine this morning you could get to church there's a spirit there's a contention he tossed him which means how can i leave this body which one can i use the man did not have control the bible says he tossed him out before he came out it takes place in the realm of the spirit this happening in a realm that is not visible to the human eyes but to them that understand spiritual things say lord grant me spiritual understanding prayer in the name of jesus lord give me an understanding that is beyond the natural i am not just serving you in flesh no flesh cannot glory in his sight but spirit in the name of jesus christ you are born again with authority and power grant it lord upon me spiritual understanding upon me your power of understanding upon me oh god almighty let it come open my eyes to the people watching it was like a show but to activities in the realm of the spirit it was a whole different picture verse 36 and they were all amazed <laughs> They were all what amazed and spoke among themselves saying what a word is this <laughs> for with authority and power he commanded unclean spirit and they come out that's a kind of mind that is pharisees mentality that is sadducees mentality that is self mentality that's religion mentality because you don't know who Jesus is. He said, Oh, whose authority and power? Verse 37. And the fame of him went where? Out into every place of the country, round about. Verse 34. And he arose out of the synagogues and entered into Simon's house. Thinking that was over. And Simon's wife's mother was what taken with what i want to what was that if you have never had fever here yeah, wave your hand yeah fever comes fever is sickness it can get you feverish it can take you down let me tell you when fever takes you down your best food become your enemy do i make sense to you fever takes you down the smell of your best food makes you throw up nothing matters to you when you are down sick all you just want to do is get well do i make sense to you i don't care if somebody come counting money in your face i just want to get well i don't care if somebody come talking million dollar business with you i just want to get well i just i don't care if somebody come talking about the next project with you i just want to get better i am tired of laying i i hate the feeling the feeling of sickness must disgust your spirit to understand don't you know you should be glad that god thank god you gave me power and authority over this sometimes people get sick long enough that the feeling of being well they cannot recollect do you understand what i'm saying do, am, am i please can we understand what we're saying today that when you, you can't imagine how does it even look like to be well you can't even imagine the feeling of being well 
because you've been sick long that's the feeling the devil wants to give the bible says he came into the house peter's wife's mother what does that mean peter's mother-in-law don't come across your mother-in-law and say i'm having fever I say, uh, what, what do we do pray first maybe her fever is for you to lay hands and know that the power to heal is in you you hear the message you go home huh? pray before you call your doctor because your doctor is not jesus your doctor is not the healer jesus walked in imagine the hospital is closed now imagine you are in a place where you can't reach it the bible says he walks in hear this and they what they brought they verse 35 and simon wife's mother was taken with what great fever and they what besought him for her verse 30. and he stood over her is that in your bible from this day see lord empower me to recognize that i can stand over sickness please spiritually i want you to pray say lord from this day lord give me the grace the consciousness to recognize that i can stand over that child over that body over that woman over that man and tell that fever get out in the name of jesus don't you know fever have ears you will hear the voice of the lord you will hear the voice of the master don't shy away from it don't be intimidated by it don't say what if it doesn't happen stand over her he stood over her huh? and did what and did what rebuke what the fever and he did what what did the fever do the fever said I am not leaving did the fever say I am not leaving what did the fever do is fever cause some is, 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 have you ever somebody called fever I don't see no for me i've not seen somebody being born and they have a naming ceremony and say the, the name of the if i will change that name at the altar in the name of jesus christ are you with me who, who, you bring a child for me to name a child what's the name you name the child fever you have nothing to name are you with me why jesus stole the fever get out i am in the house brethren sickness can come it can stay when he finds us who is truly in the house he will pack his stuff and leave the mandate is given to the church the church is the place where sick should come first before the hospital the house of the lord is the house of healing and power The church has a, be empowered. The power cannot be diluted or downgraded or be or, or live in an assumption that there are certain God, Jesus can heal headache, but there are levels of it. No. The problem today is that we have we have monetized it. We have made it in the form of money business style that the power of Christ is no longer functioning in it. If it comes sincerely with nothing. Or the back of the mind of of material and financial gain power will move he said fever he rebuked the fever and the what my bible says is that it left her and immediately immediately i can't hear you immediately every every fever that is operating around your life we rebuke them this morning in the name of jesus christ you will rise up from every feverish condition physically spiritually financially every aspect of your life in the name of jesus christ child is sick the body's hot tell that sickness listen leave my child alone in the name of jesus christ i need to sleep i bet you you might pray for that child Maybe the temperature is 100. You pray for the child. Next time you check it, the temperature is now 120. <gasps> no. Say, so now I know why you want to stay. I say, get out in the name of Jesus Christ. You still can stand your ground. 
James said your faith will be tested and she arose immediately and who did she ministered unto them verse 40 now when the sun was setting all day that when the sun was setting down which means it was going down in the evening and all day that had what any is that your bible any sickness name it with what diverse what diseases brought them unto what him there are doctors there are hospitals but they brought them to who to jesus we must learn to first and foremost recognize jesus in every matters of sicknesses and afflictions they brought them to him and he did what he laid what his hands i want you to connect to this this morning he lay what his hands on some of them on some of them on every one of them and did what and healed them verse 41 the devils also came out of many those that came with devils crying out when they came out why are they crying because they have no more house they have no more body to live in every devil that think he can dwell on the things that belong to you shall cry out this morning i say you shall tell the devils get out of my life get out of my home get out of my marriage get out of my children and they will cry out my things doesn't belong to you speak the word they cry out and when they were crying out saying this they cried talking thou art christ they will cry out talking i know you sister you are the daughter of jesus christ don't you know devils they know your name they can talk they will talk through the body they are using until they come out because when they come out your physical eyes can no longer see them but by the spirit they are moving what are they doing looking for another body to use principalities powers spirit dwell in bodies they looking for it to use when they enter bodies they invoke that bodies and they speak through the tongue of that body that is the reason why sometimes you see people talking is the spirit inside them you see all these serial killers talking is the spirit of a murderer inside them some of them talk like devils I could hear the demon talking and lord have mercy i will, I will be straight with this lord have mercy on officers that interrogate some of these spirits some of them discuss how they meet with devil how they are friends to lucifer and they talk about satanic stuff some have been engaged in those activities from small practicing all kind of witchcraft and bougie, bougie board and all kind of satanic spirits yes these things have a root where it comes from when those doors are open they find their way in they get comfortable they want to trust that that body will not betray them at any point so they can stay there for long so they become legion in that body but brethren the church has been given power first to recognize and to, to tell that devil come out when people are talking to you you should know either talking from the devil or from the spirit of god why you how do you know this by your constant prayer life in the realm of the spirit a fervent prayer life you dwell it in another realm by spirit to recognize and identify these systems brethren this might be a message but i want to pay attention you got to climb that ladder because it's the kingdom of darkness that we're dealing with the devil himself shout amen. amen verse 41 they cry out saying thou art what christ the son of god we know whose son you are jesus this is how did you know who told you mm -mm. we know who we are in the realm of the spirit and he rebuked them 
and suffer them don't talk to me is that your bible i'm not here to discuss with you there are many things we counsel that need to be casted out are you hearing me today you do not sit down and counsel demons there is no negotiation with the devil there are people you operate you they, they gave themselves prematurely and by ignorant not knowing that you are operating on that spirit the evidence is by your actions and the things that is happening around you and it's difficult it has to be recognized and be casted out he says shut up don't talk to me i don't want to hear it he suffered them not to speak and they knew that he was what they knew that he was what who is christ the head jesus of all what principalities and power nobody sees their boss and don't know it nobody sees their maker and not know it the word of god write this down the word of god must come out of you with power the word of god must come out with power from a believer's life prayer life is the powerhouse of a believer it's a separate lifestyle unclean spirit spirit will recognize the word present the presence of the spirit of god spirits will recognize it brethren this mandate has been given to the church we cannot shy away from it you cannot pull back from it away from it you cannot feel I have a sense of feeling not recognizing this mark chapter 16 where we just read the bible says jesus laid his hands on the sick mark chapter 16 the mandate to heal and to cast out devils listen to this brethren it's not given to pastors only it's for the believers anyone that believes in Christ is empowered to tell the sickness get out to tell devils get out you can only cast out what you recognize you don't pamper it and that is the reason why spirit doesn't look at things from the eyes of flesh flesh look at children oh it's my child but spirit you know yes my child that is possessed where did this come from failure to recognize will let that spirit grow the devil doesn't care about cuteness the devil doesn't care about beauty understand it this morning authority mark 16 verse 15 and he said unto them go ye into all the world and do what and preach what the gospel to who to every creature verse 16 he that believeth first step and is what baptized shall be saved but he that what believeth not shall be damned There are signs. Are there believers in the house this morning? Are there believers listening to me? They understand this. In your belief, there's power released. In your belief, there's power given. And these signs shall do what? Follow them that believe. Hallelujah. In my name hallelujah jesus is speaking nothing else no other name in the name of jesus you shall do what not in your title not in your intelligence 
not in your position in the church not in your robe in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus that you have engaged night and day in a fervent prayer life hear this again a fervent what prayer life you are living and dwelling your spirit is constantly living and dwelling in the gym of prayer your spirit is engaged night and day in prayer and in the spirit realm it is known don't you know in the gym there are sections that people don't go are you with me i'm talking to believers this morning there are places sections in the gym that not everybody go to if you have never lifted up 10 10 pounds then you go and see where they put 200 200 pounds don't you know there are areas where you look at it you know it's not what you are looking for there are you with me Maybe, maybe some of us have not gone to the gym so but I, I, I excuse you for, for saying that but there are areas you are looking for where, where you see that section you don't, you don't go there and check it you know why you see what is written on it 250 250 you, you act like you don't see it why you are looking for the 20 20 a bit terry terry and you came across 250 you see you want to carry it but those that are going there did not start from there are you with me they built up to that place am i talking to somebody brethren it's not in how big and how look their looks are the strength is within them I went, I go to the gym. I saw a young man. Not big in that section. I looked at him from distance. Listen to me. He took one of those weights. It could be 150. Huh? And he had it just to, just to warm up. Listen to me. He picked it up as he's picking up a can. He looked at me. I turned my eyes away. <laughs> Are you with me? His hand. I'm looking at his hand. So tiny. No, not like. But he lifted up. So easy. Listen to me, brother. Out of curiosity. When he put it down, I came close to him. <laughs> I said, how do you do that? This is what he said. It's very word. I lived all my life in the gym. So I scratched my head. Okay, there's a difference between somebody who lived all their life in the gym and somebody who goes when uh, you feel like you have to go and make a new year resolution <laughs> do I make sense to some of us this year I am determined I'm this year I, 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 I mean it for how long for a couple of weeks are you with me then you you want to size yourself with somebody that no matter what's going on with him he will still come and do something brethren jesus lived a life of prayer non-stop in season and out of what am i talking to you in season and out of what season and he did not teach the disciples how to pray he taught them to pray he taught them that prayer is part of the oxygen that keeps your spiritual man alive 
prayer life it radiates in the realm of the spirit nothingness is empowered that your spirit setting flame and fire around territories that you tell somebody don't come close it is a prayer life of Elijah that made him take the hazard Lord open his eyes and father open the eyes of Elijah brethren brethren he said these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they what cast out what devil what is in that name you engage in prayer in that name and you shall speak with new languages new tongues verse 18 very critical verse 18 and they shall what take up serpent they shall pick up take it up serpent and if they drink any deadly thing be set up by enemies it shall not what the thing in them will burn that thing dead because you're carrying life in you and they shall what lay hands that he did on the sick this is the scripture and they shall recover there's a recovery that will take place in your laying of hands but there's a climbing of that ladder to operate in that mandate to heal the sick and to tell devil get out I remember the story of Archbishop Benson Hida also a demonic man in a city but I will not forget his name his name Kyle Day. that was the name he ruled the, nobody dared talk to this man his hair has never been touched from birth don't you know this demon they know how to operate with the nazareth grace the devil also operate in that realm also his hair have never been shaved from birth it terrorizes the city the people and he engaged this man of god when pastors came to hold him he he would he would throw people as if he's throwing stones so it's not his power there was a spirit and guess what he's what that spirit is trying to imitate he's trying to imitate Samson. Samson's hair was never what touched from birth what a fool devil is don't say the devil is a fool because his own is always counterfeit are you with me no matter how you leave your hair you can never be Samson. your strength can never be close because the lord will raise power that will destroy it the admission looked straight to this man's eyes and he said to him think you are who you say you are go, go cross that door if you cross that door and remain alive I am not the servant of God he is not just speaking it because he ate so much chicken and rice and beans it's coming from the resources of a prayer life that he knows where he has tasted he has been spiritually the man looked at him and recognized that this man I know him in the spirit Huh? this is not ordinary person and what he just said he means it and he's talking from Christ this man dwelleth in the gym of Jesus Christ he engaged and Jesus is the trainer he does nothing without the name of Jesus he put his head down everybody shiver he asked for them to get him a blade openly he shaved the head of Coyote it humbled the entire city it's not ordinary it made him powerless greater is he greater is he greater is he that is in you that the devil that is in the world that was a terror but there was a man who knew his God and he took his stand brethren understand this today you will do it and there shall be recovery in the name of Jesus brethren Believers mandate to heal the sick and do what? Cast that word devils. Finally, this morning, two scriptures, Ephesians 6 17 and 18, tells us that is the reason why the word of God you must be filled with the Holy Spirit and the word of God must be in you. The word of God is the sword that your spirit fights with and engage in this. When you are speaking to devils, please don't speak from your intelligence. Don't speak from your knowledge. Speak from what is written. 
the bible said the bible said the bible said you are engaging in a in a situation with sickness by his strife jesus said by his strife we are what healed jesus said not you said jesus said this is the word of the lord he said come in my name not in any other name the devil knows it when that happens it affects everything around you the power doesn't just reside in you even your clothes carry it even things that can touches you carries it the power is not visible but it moves hear this tonight this morning Acts chapter 5 we're going to read this scripture please mark these key things and from this day i pray that the birth of power and prayer be released inside your belly in the name of jesus awake as a church awake as a church awake as a church somebody on the job acting like fool acting like the devil say, in the name of jesus you pray it in your spirit sometimes you might not even have to say a word just come in that vicinity that thing will turn around and be looking for you he will sense something else in that environment Acts chapter 5 believers mandate to heal to cast out devils believers mandate to heal to cast out devils if you are with me this morning shout amen Acts chapter 5 this incident in art happened after the story of ananias and sapphira which we all know but i'm going to read from verse 11 not dealing with the story of ananias and sapphira, but from verse 11 and a great fear came upon the church and upon many as heard these things verse 12 and by the hands of the apostles were many what signs and wonder wrought among the people and they were all what in one accord in solomon's porch in one accord verse 13 and of the rest does no man join himself to them but what the people magnify them verse 14 and believers were what were the more added to the lord multitude both men and women verse 15 in so much that they brought forth what they constantly were bringing who the sick into where they brought them to the street and laid them where on beds and couches that are the least the shadows of peter passing by might overshadow some of them am i talking to some of these shadows possible just if the shadow can pass I speak to you today when you stand under the sun there's a shadow and your shadow might be very small but you're under the shadow of the almighty that can cover the entire earth your shadow is limited but the one who called you shadow is unlimited that even the shadow and things happens verse 16 and there came also a multitude out of the city round about unto jerusalem doing what people were bringing what sick folks and them that were what vest with what unclean spirit unclean spirit principal they busy why they occupy people because they have to carry out the havoc of their master the devil and brethren today there are still unclean spirit operating we must recognize it as a church as believers don't turn your eyes away you can see by their manifestations and their behaviors unclean spirit first with unclean spirit and they were what and they were what healed everyone brethren it is a mandate don't shy away from it don't turn your eyes away from it it is a power that has been given 
bow your heads this morning believers mandate receive the grace not to walk past the sick you see madness in people that is that spirits people caught up in drug activity that spirit people caught up in drunkenness that spirit cocaine is a spirit heroin is a spirit met all those drugs they are all spirit they've had many captive it they makes many live on the streets they've rendered families homeless it has separated families children from parents mothers addicted send many to incarcerations those are spirit bondage generations are suffering this is not a time for program of counseling counseling doesn't the devil is not counseled the devil should be casted out I'm not talking about five minute prayer I'm not talking about ten minute prayer I'm not talking about 20 minute prayer I'm talking about prayer that travels we spend 30 minutes to pray we think we pray too much the devil you are trying to pray spend hours invoking the demonic voodoo man you are trying to contend with has gone in the jungle for three days without food or no water to invoke demons and power to come to scatter you spend 15 minutes praying two hours eating put his body through terrain in the bush rain heat cold to invoke to say satan here i am that's what they do i am available to use that you can that i can carry havoc for you and yet for us the lord said i'm looking for a man the lord said i had sick for men who will stand on the gap yeah. and those spirit think when they feel they want to enter the church believers mandate to heal the sick to cast out devils unclean spirits familiar spirits demonic oppression there are many believers as i'm speaking tonight this morning if you are hearing me that are in severe severe attack even in their sleep even in their dream even in their homes all kind of enchantment takes prayers little children screaming out of their dream screaming out of their sleep no it takes prayers the enemy want to defy them from small pollute them from small corrupt and contaminate them from small mess with their spirit so that they grow up under that ground no recognize it it takes prayer the devil get out i come against you in the name of jesus christ the name above all name i stand in authority in that name come out in the name of jesus christ you have no place in this church in this tabernacle i cast you out you cannot operate you cannot function you witchcraft you manipulating a deceitful spirit in the name of jesus christ 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 let the fire of prayer arise and kindle in the body of christ awake your prayer life children are being tormented husbands are being tormented wives are being tormented we come against you spirit that is engaging activities you satanic and evil contractors we know your master who hired you we rebuke you this morning in the name of jesus christ come out 
come out. You that afflict family with sicknesses, cancer is a spirit. Don't tell me anything. Diseases they come through oppressions. You mantle of sickness, we set that mantle on fire. You baton of sickness, we come against you. You cannot be passed from one generation to another. Sometimes we look at fever. Oh, it's just a simple fever. Oh, it's just common fever. Jesus didn't call it common. He rebuked him. He rebuked the fever. The fever heard the voice. And fever come out. And the fever left her. Many times we babysit fever. Because we feel it's the least of sickness you could deal with. But Jesus did not. He said, come out. He said, Jesus, my mother-in-law has fever. Jesus said, I'm in the house. Fever can't be here. Because we have all the medication to manage the systems. So we don't believe we can be permanently free. You demon of stroke, come out. I know you have marked your days in the calendar of what you want to do in that life. I told, I'm saying to you right now, I erase your finger in that calendar. I destroy in the name of Jesus. Come out. You cancer. Libra Katabo Shata. Jesus said, I give you power to tell them to live in the name of Jesus. You cancer, you prostrate condition, you diseases, secret sicknesses, whatever name you are, fibrous. I don't care your name. In the name of Jesus, there's above every name. Come out, leave these people. They have to serve the Lord. Wherever you are, come out. Name of Jesus, wherever you are, come out. Meta wherever you are, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, brethren. We are praying this morning. Unclean spirits, unclean spirits. The Bible called unclean spirit. You see it in the life of some men, they are pretty unclean spirit. We come against in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against in the name of Jesus Christ. Le Kabado Shata. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are located, wherever your hiding place, we come against you. We come against you. Manner of diseases. All diseases. Jesus, come out in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is above every name. Whatever hole you ran in, meta illness, madness, meta condition. We reject you in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot walk. Drug, addiction, all kind of addiction. We come against addictions in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, you do not belong to the body of Christ. By His stripes, by His stripes, He are healed. I reject you. We refuse you. We rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, brethren, please pray. We rebuke wherever you are, wherever you are, we reject you, Lord. Please pray. As for me and my house, we have been set free by the blood of Jesus. I confess it. I declare it. I proclaim it. We are set free. Whosoever the Son of Man release is free indeed. Children, stand up and pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You spirit, wherever you are. In the name in the name of Jesus. Somebody call on that name. In the name of Jesus. Somebody call on that name. 
in the name of Jesus you high blood pressure you spirit of depression you spirit of suicide in Jesus name we are still praying this morning I remember traveling in a conference I will never forget it, the man of God was speaking he said something we think all this medication are just to treat you he said I went to see a doctor I'm gonna say it because it came from the mouth of a man of God he said I went to see a doctor and he gave me some medicines you know out of ministry you you travel all it's up and down so not, not all I needed was rest don't you know sometimes the body you have to rest Jesus rest his body he said but out of my feeling I went and he gave me some so and I took it he said after I drank it you know he said this is gonna make you feel better he said in the hotel where he was a high-rise hotel he was on the balcony and he just came outside and just to look from the sky he said something inside said, what about if you just jump do you know the feeling you he just said, what if you just, the, 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 so the thing began to like, you know, just a sweet feeling, you know, just, just how the feeling of just jump and just landing down there. Where, he said from the height of the hotel, you could barely see people. Are so small. He, he, he said, I came, he said, I closed the door. He said, I went back to the doctor. I said, what did you give me? He said, what happened? He said, I had a they say somebody has spiritual sensitivity hear this he said doctor say oh there's a side effect of that medication is suicidal if you're having a thought of suicide it just is a side effect it doesn't mean you're going to do la bracatata it's a spirit don't tell me you're not going to do it the man said what so suicide can be in the pill suicide can play with something in your in your brain that make you feel life is just jump medication that is meant and is supposed to be for your awareness he said i am glad it happened to me he brought the message to a minister's conference he was the guest to speak he said that was the end of he said, I went back to the hood. He said, I did not throw the medicines away. I said, you spirit. Put in the form of pills. I don't care how many lives you have destroyed. I am terminating your oppression. No one will ever fall your victim. I have you in my hands. He prayed with anger. I am talking to somebody this morning. Suicide is a spirit. Amen whatever source or avenue comes we are praying this morning we come in the name of jesus christ we rebuke it lift up your voice and pray jesus say cast out this unclean spirit every spirit taken over the mind every spirit operating every spirit that has come to in the name of Jesus you drink it for one reason he has so many other purposes the spirit behind it no wonder when Jesus heals he makes you whole not only are you healed Jesus said you are made whole say as for me and my house we are made whole cast out sickness lay hands on the sick finally we're going to pray time will not permit us we could stay like this all day i guarantee you by the time it is evening you will not be yourself understand this you have to do it by evening your body will be numb you will not feel anything you will be hungry you'll be filled you'll be hungry you'll be filled you'll be hungry you'll be filled you'll be hungry you'll be filled your body will want to take food because the spirit is feeding you amen finally the church must stand on the bedrock of prayer please you're going to declare this please you're going to declare this with your mouth as for me and my house this body is to praise the lord it shall not be 
a dwelling place for sicknesses and diseases. I speak at the gate of this body. In case sickness stumble in, it will stumble out. Lift up your voice and pray. Shall not be a dwelling place. Sickness, you have no place. In this tabernacle, you have no place. In this church, you have no place. Thank you, Lord. You have blessed us with divine health. With divine health. With divine health. With divine health. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every association of pills. Pills. Those that are selling it on the street. Those that are introducing kids into Rita. We scatter their network. We scatter their network. Those that are enriching themselves. We scatter their organizations. In the realm of the spirit. I want to believe somebody is praying this morning. Every one of them in the name of Jesus. Every one of them that are there are many that are crawling on their knees on the street right now because of drug ripping themselves naked being used and be abused shooting needles in their bodies they were not born like that something led into it something inherited it there is an unclean spirit that choose to realize uh, the mandate has been given to the church to pray in the name of Jesus. When you go out, uh, you are empowered uh, to tell that devil come out. Uh, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Lift up your hands. You are free. Amen. Oh. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. Please let this word come out from your mouth. My children are free. My, My children, children are free. Are free. In the name of Jesus. My house is free. My house is free. In the name of Jesus. My ministry is free. My ministry is free. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Because whosoever Jesus set free. Is free indeed. Amen. I stretch forth my hands for as many here in this. Wherever you are. From, from Europe to Asia. From Asia to Africa. To the entire globe. I pronounce your freedom. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil. That could not hold Christ in the grave. Cannot hold you down. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You, so Lord. shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ezra chapter 14 verse 14 says, The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. God bless you.